What's going on YouTube? Chad here, Cook Pressure Washing, Spartanburg, South Carolina. And today I'm gonna show you how to build a budget salt wash system for only $296. And if this video helps you at all, comment below and let me know. I truly love helping people out because like I said before, it is not as easy as people think getting into the pressure washing industry. Also, please like and subscribe. I'm really trying to grow my channel. I'm really trying to focus on my YouTube now. So if you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's get started. Now this is the easiest way to get into pressure washing. And if you wanna get a soft wash set up, this is the cheapest you can go and it still work. With this little system, you can wash almost anything. Houses, brick, fences, you know, stucco, pretty much everything but concrete. And you can still wash concrete pretty good, but you can't use a surface cleaner with the system because it's only for soft washing. Uh, new construction, you can do all that with a soft wash system. Pretty much everything except for concrete, because that's about the only thing you really use pressure on. How could I forget the most profitable thing you can do in pressure washing, which is roof washing, which you are required to use a soft wash system for, because if you use pressure on roofs, just you'll be blasting the shingles away. You're obviously gonna need a pump. This is the most expensive part of the entire thing, and I get them on Amazon for $129. It's a five and a half gallon Everflow pump. Now, I buy a ton of these things um, because they go out pretty often, to be honest with y'all. But that's that's normal. That's what happens. Still use it to this day. Here's it on my rig right now. See? I still use it as well. Everyone in the pressure washing industry, if they're running a 12-volt pump, it is likely going to be the Everflow like I have or be a Remco. That is the cheapest way and is super effective. Now the simplest way and the cheapest way to wire these things up to the battery, which what you'll need as well, which I will show you, cheapest and the most effective way is just some alligator clamps. I get them off Amazon. They're like $11. You're obviously going to need some garden hose for whatever you're cleaning, what you need to go through it, likely SH or more well known as bleach to go through the hose. And you can get that really cheap as well. Although you can get away with it being cheaper, I'm sure. I definitely recommend getting at least 100 foot. You will need it at some point. But this one from Harbor Freight, only 30 bucks. I still have my old hose reel right here with my old hose on it. That's how I started. It's just this little cheap hose reel. To be honest with y'all, this thing was that ugly gray. I just spray painted it so it would match my old trailer. That's all. That is a very cheap option. Uh, this is the hose that I'm running now. It really doesn't matter when you first start what size the hose is because you're just trying to get started. You can upgrade as you go. You're gonna need a tank to put your chemical in. And the cheapest way to do that is to get you some 55 gallon drums. I have a graveyard of them pretty much. They're super cheap. You can find them online for a little bit more expensive, but still not very expensive. But the best way to get the best deal on just a 55 gallon drum is to go on Facebook Marketplace. You can find them for like 10 bucks. You will obviously need a battery for your 12 volt pump. You can get these pretty cheap as well. You gotta make sure it's a deep cycle marine battery. That is what's going to work best. So I usually get all my batteries from Batteries Plus, but Walmart usually has the best deals on batteries. And I came up on this one, which was only $90. You're gonna need a soft wash gun. I still use these to this day. It's only like 21 bucks for one of these. Now I know there's a cheaper way to build those guns um, from like parts from Lowe's. It's called a Gilmore gun. I don't know how to build it, but you can search that on YouTube. I just know it has to be cheaper than $21 if people are spending the time to make them. You also need some fittings for the pump. Now these are only like six or seven bucks on Amazon as well. And the size for your fittings will be different based on the size hose that you're gonna use. So you'll hook up your pump to the alligator clamps, alligator clamps to the battery. You'll have your hoses with your fittings attached right here. One pulling the chemical in and then one going out to your garden hose. 
Then you'll have your gun that you can spray it with. The one that's pulling the chemical in will go in that cheap 55 gallon drum that I showed you and you are set. Getting into pressure washing is not as cheap and simple as people think. It really isn't. Uh, but this is a great way for you to start out. If you're looking for a way to start out and you're a little low on cash, this is how you start. And then you need to reinvest your money back into the equipment. This is exactly how I started. The build I have going on right now is brand new. I can't wait to show the whole thing to y'all. I'm so excited. I feel like a little nerd. Here's a little sneak peek of, sneak peek of what I got going on. There's my pump. Stuff running everywhere. Okay, that's all I'm going to show you. That's all I'm going to show you for now. I'm, a, I'm so excited to show you guys the whole build when it's finished. It's almost done, but there's always something. I say it's almost done, and then probably months later, I'm like, oh, I need to do this. But that's how it goes. But thanks for watching. I hope I helped somebody.